All right, everybody. Welcome to the start of our show. And we have a guest now, and she's a dancer from Flamenco, Boston. Please put your hands together for Lauren O'Donnell. Welcome, Lauren. Shake my hand. So uh, tell me, people that are watching from home, they hear the words flamenco. What is that? Well, it's a dance from southern Spain mm -hmm. that's similar to tap dancing because it has a lot of foot percussion, but it also has a lot of arm movements, mm -hmm. and it has a really serious expression sometimes. Now, are you Spanish? No. No. No, I'm not. I've You're lived Irish. in Spain a little tiny bit. <laughs> <I'm> American. <laughs> yeah. So what got you interested in this type of music and dance? Well, I started taking a workshop about eight years ago, mm -hmm. a flamenco dance workshop, with my teacher and friend, Omaira Maya, and I was just very, very inspired, and mm -hmm. I stuck with it. And you love it now. I still love it, Because yeah. you teach it. Now, if people want to learn this type of dance, is it, uh, can they just go to you, or do they go to learn it? They can take classes with me. Mm -hmm. They can find out on flamencoboston.com when the classes are. They're on Sundays. Mm -hmm. There are also other people that teach locally. For example, at the dance complex, Ramon teaches. Mm -hmm. They can just come to class and learn. We, we were able to come down and see uh, you firsthand dancing. We noticed that uh, some of the people were actually making beats on their hands. They were called palmas. Palmas, Is that right? yeah. And, and why do they do that? What's that from? Oh, my goodness. What's it actually from? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know the actual origin of that, but it's a very basic thing that you can do. If you don't even have any instruments, you can mm -hmm. always clap your hands. So I and, think it's just been around forever. And, and they keep the beat for you? So yeah, that they you keep the beat. Dancing. It's kind of like a drum. They keep the steady beat, and they also can adorn the compas, or the, the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed also that uh, when you were dancing, you were also uh, slapping your legs and clicking your hands? Yeah, the body percussion. Now, how do, you, uh, how do you train for that? How do you get so good to know right on the beat this is what you do? You just practice. You walk down the street snapping until you get better yeah, and, at and it. And your snapping is pretty loud. And just now, practice. Yeah, let me ask you. Sometimes I remember seeing TV and uh, uh, dancers would click these little uh, instruments. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Or? It's different. Those are castanets, and mm -hmm. so they're two pieces of wood, and you play them with your fingers. Is that a part of flamenco, too, it's, or am I wrong It's also here? a part of, part of flamenco, yeah. or really, I think, of Spanish classical dance. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, on the website, if people check you out on Boston Flamenco, what are they going to find? Well, pictures of me, information of my classes, um, Do you teach men and women? Yes. Okay. And how are the men? Are they good or are they... They're pretty good. Yeah. We have one of them in the audience, actually. Yeah? Oh, came well, to see the show. He's one of the better ones, then, I would think. <laughs> now, do, uh, in Flamenco, I noticed you danced by yourself while other people did the percussion. Now, yeah. can more than one person dance at the same time? Or? They can, but that's more of a choreography, like if it's a flamenco dance company. Mm -hmm. It's not probably the most traditional way to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens with your students now when you train them? Do you have recitals and things, or where do they actually get to go out and do their flamenco? Yeah, I do, actually. I perform regularly at Bar Lola, which is in Copley mm -hmm. in Boston. And so I've had shows there where the students come and perform. And it, is it just a bar, or is it a restaurant? What is it? It's a bar and restaurant, but mm -hmm. we perform in the dining area in the restaurant. Yeah. So the students actually get to get up in front and dance while their friends and family have tapas. Now, one of the, uh, the cool things that we found out about you is when our associate producer, Joe Murphy, found you, and he, he found you online and somehow got the information that you were dancing in Spain. Oh, I did do a small performance in Spain, yeah, mm -hmm. last month. Well, that was cool. How, how did the, cool. Uh, the people respond to your dancing, being an Irish girl from Boston? <laughs> <laughs> they liked it. They yeah. definitely liked it. I had a good response. They clapped and said ole in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> ole in all the right places. Um, if people want to... Uh, Take your dance class here in Boston. Should we direct them to the website? Sure. Okay, so it's flamencoboston.com. Dot com. Great. Exactly. Lauren O'Donnell, everybody. Thank you for coming down. We got Thank more you. coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>